Hello, I'm Nick the Nurse. Today we're going to be talking about alcohol. In particular, we're going to be talking about alcohol with some point in your career, or on the NCLEX or in nursing school exams, you're going to have to deal with a patient, be it a real one or hypothetically, who is going through alcohol withdrawal. Now, alcohol withdrawal is nothing to sneeze at. This can be life-threatening. Okay, If you've ever seen somebody go through alcohol withdrawal before, you know it's not a pretty process, but unfortunately it's something that the body generally has to do in one form or another uh, in order to get to where it needs to go. But we as a nurse have a big role in making sure that when a patient does go through with al uh, alcohol withdrawal, that we make the transition a smooth one uh, that, that doesn't hurt them, doesn't kill them, and hopefully brings them back to a therapeutic level uh, of higher functioning, or at least the functioning that they had before they became an alcoholic. Our, our goal uh, is to cure them, okay, or at least to, not, I shouldn't say cure, but to um, help them with their addiction so that they can be functional in society, okay? So one of the things that you have to understand with alcoholism and with alcohol withdrawal, just like any other addiction, whether it be medication or, or drugs or prescription painkillers or what have you, is that when our body has become used to something, when it's addicted to something, after a certain period of time, it, it's going to go into, I would almost call it kind of like a shock um, when it doesn't get what it wants. Okay, For example, um, in alcohol withdrawal, it usually takes between six to eight hours before alcohol withdrawal symptoms uh, take effect. Uh, if a patient's drinking a fifth of uh, whiskey or a fifth of vodka, um, you know, every day or a couple times a day, between six and eight hours, um, you're going to start seeing the, the signs and symptoms of alcohol withdrawal. Okay, What are the signs and symptoms of alcohol withdrawal? Well, there's a long list of them, but some of the more prominent ones that come to mind are tremors, seizures, shaking, stuff like that, okay, vomiting, all of these things can occur with alcohol withdrawal. Now, when does alcohol withdrawal peak? Well, and by peak, I mean when does it get its worst? Patients can get violent, patients can get, you know, they get really stir-crazy. This generally occurs between one to two days, usually 24 to 48 hours after the occurrence. That's when it peaks. And this can actually get worse if the alcohol withdrawal symptoms aren't really treated with, with medications like Valium or Ativan uh, or uh, Valium or Ativan or even Clonidine, which can be used with alcohol withdrawal. It's not only antihypertensive, um, but if it's not treated and the patient isn't progressed kind of slowly uh, and eased into it, a lot of times the patient can suffer from delirium. And this generally occurs after the 48-hour mark, usually around the third day. So remember, when you're dealing with alcohol withdrawal, generally you start to see alcohol withdrawal signs and symptoms generally around six to eight hours following um, their last drink. If they drink quite a bit and they're an alcoholic, then you'll see it peak around 24 to 48 hours. And then following that, the patient might have episodes of delirium. My name is Nick. Good luck in your nursing school exams, on your NCLEX, and in your nursing practice. See you next time.